Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. So today we will be uh, learning about how to graph polynomial functions. Okay, so but this uh, kind of uh, graphing is just a rough graph, meaning um, this would be a rough image of how the graph will look like. This will not be exact, okay? but at least it will show you how the graph will um, function okay? and how the graph will look. Okay, so maybe let's start now. So we have this example. So firstly, po, uh, when you are trying to graph polynomial functions and having a, a rough image of it, um, the first thing that you need to do is you need to factor out your given completely, meaning you have to remove, uh, I mean to factor it out, okay, using in any method that you are familiar of. And I would suggest using the rational and um, integral zeros theorem, or the rational zeros theorem, okay. So, on this case, I already factored out the given, giving us this one, x plus 1 times x minus 3 times x minus 2. So, again, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to factor out the given, okay? And then, the next thing that we will be studying before we actually graph this would be the end behavior and the zeros and the multiplicities, okay? So, I will write it down here on the side. Let me zoom out a little bit. I hope you can still see everything. So we will be discussing about the zeros, the multiplicity, multiplicity, and then the end behavior. Okay. Okay. So these three things we will be discussing. Okay. So firstly, now when it comes to the zeros, I think you're quite familiar now that when it when we talk about the zeros we are just simply talking about the binomial factors of your given okay or the factors of the given equated to zero so meaning on this case okay we have x plus one x plus one oh sorry x plus one equated to zero giving you a zero of negative one then we have x minus three equating it to zero giving you a zero of Positive 3, same goes with x minus 2, giving you a 0 of positive 2. So our zeros is negative 1, positive 3, and positive 2. Okay, so those would be for the zeros. And when you have arrived with the 0, the next thing that you need to do is you need to plot your given. Meaning, taking this, negative 1, so you plot negative 1. This is your negative 1. Plotting 3. Positive 3, it's here. Positive 3. And positive 2, it will be here. Okay? So, after you have plotted your um, zeros, the next thing that you need to identify would be... Let's go first with the end behavior. Okay? When we talk now about the end behavior, this would be the look of the graph that you will be having. So, kung ano yung itsura ng graph ninyo. Okay? So, um, of course, in, in our given, we have... Um, three points of intersection or the zeros okay so to identify the end behavior is you have to look for the leading coefficient or the coefficient that is outside your given factors and in this case you will notice class that the coefficient outside here is none wala walang nakalagay na number for example may 4 dito so 4 is the coefficient but on this case the coefficient will be 1 okay and then for that, you need to just simply check what is the sign of that coefficient 1. If it is positive, then the end behavior, meaning at the end of your graph, okay, for positive, it will go up here. And for negative, it will go down here. Okay, so just simply have to identify what is the end behavior of your graph. Okay, so the end behavior here is positive. Therefore, your graph must go up. The end behavior for graph must go up it goes up here okay sorry for a while okay, so it goes up here okay so because that is positive but what about the other end of your graph okay so as for the other end what you just need to do is you just simply have to check okay you just simply have to check the coefficient of your given okay so when we talk about the coefficient or the leading um, degree of your given is you just simply have to add up all the exponents of the x's okay so you have you check you have to check here the coefficient of the x here is 1 same here the coefficient of x here is 1 and then the coefficient of x here is 1 okay so meaning 
the, co the total coefficient is just simply 3. Okay? So let's take a hold of that first. And let's go now to multiplicity. So before we get the other end of our graph, we just need to get the multiplicity. Okay? So as for the multiplicity, your given will go like will go like this. Okay? So um, let me just write it here. Okay. So if we have say x cubed, okay. So if we have x cubed, your graph will look like this. Okay. At that point of intersection, it will look like this. Okay. Since again, class, the leading coefficient for this one is positive. Therefore, it's positive here above, and then of course it goes down here. So meaning, if it is odd, then it switches position. Okay. Next one. If your given say is um negative, say we have sorry. If it is negative, therefore it will just mirror the other way around. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. It will just simply go like this. Okay? So this is for the negative one. Why? Because again the end behavior is negative. For this one, the end behavior is simply positive. Okay. So as for the next one, the next thing that you need to do is uh, to know is of course to to know what if it is even so this one because this one is for odd so we go for even okay what about if the graph is even say we have x squared okay so the thing that we need to um, know here is again the end behavior will depend upon the sign so if this is positive therefore your graph will the end behavior will go up okay and since this is squared the any any graph class any graph will just um, look like a parabola if the uh, coefficient or the exponent is an even number. So it will look like this. So meaning, uh, in short class, okay, if it is odd, then it's opposite. And if it is even, then it's the same. So in this case, class, let's take a look at our given. Since the exponent is um, odd, therefore, it is opposite of the end behavior. Meaning this is your end behavior right here. This is your end behavior. Okay, because that is positive. Meaning on the other end, on the first part, okay, here, on this part, it would be on the opposite because it's 3. Okay, so it will go from down here. Okay, if in any case that this would be 4, if that would be 4, then the graph will go up here. Because for even, it's the same, but for, um, what do you call this? But for odd, it will be the opposite. Okay, so let's just erase that. Just make this a little bit, okay. So it goes down here, okay. So we have discussed about multiplicity, the end behavior, and then the zero, okay. Now the next thing about the multiplicity, so let me just add something else, okay. Is uh, about the repeating, okay, the repeating zero. So for example, you have 2x equals to 2, okay. So in the graph here, in x is equals to 2, you will just simply bounce back okay kapa if your multiplicity is 2 then you will your graph will look like this okay but if your multiplicity is 3 meaning for example your x cube is uh, x is equal to 2 is 3 therefore at point of this you will um you will go slightly up like this one you will go slightly up and then go up uh, horizontal and then go up again okay so let me just give you an example of that by just simply graphing our given okay so we have this given now okay we have identified the zeros which is this ones okay we have also identified our um, end behavior which is at the end okay it goes up and since it is odd okay then it goes down on the front okay and then the next one would be of course for the multiplicity since there is no multiplicity here let's just um don't mind that one, okay so graphing this now will just simply go like this since let me just uh, arrange this one a little bit okay so it goes up here on the one and then it goes down here and then it goes up again okay so the your graph will look like this okay so it will just simply depend on the exponent so since exponent here is one therefore if that is one it just passes through then going to two since the exponent for the 2 is just simply 1 then it just passes through and then as for the 3 it is of course um, 1 again then it just passes through and then it just goes up indefinitely okay so this would be the look of our graph okay 
So let's provide examples of our given of um, graphing wherein there is multiplicity. Okay. So um, let's have let's have another one here at the bottom. Okay. So maybe um, let's have something. Medyo, how can you say this? Okay. Let's just invent an, a given. F of x is just equals to um, say negative three x plus 2 squared x minus 3 cubed okay say we have this given okay so the first thing that we need to do again is we have to identify our zeros okay so plotting the zeros sorry let's just do it like this okay so we have a zero of x x plus 2 equals to 0 giving us negative 2 then we also have x minus 3 is equal to 0, giving us positive 3. Okay, so we have two zeros. The positive 3, so of course, it would be here. 1, 2, 3. This is our positive 3. And then our neg negative 2 being here. Negative 2. Okay, so the, so the next thing that we need to do is identify the end behavior. The end behavior will be det um, determined by the coefficient. Okay, so since that is negative 3, we just simply have to, um, the end of the graph will go down. So it goes down here. Okay, so because it is negative 3. Okay, so the, just the sign. Okay, if it's positive, then it's up here. Then it's negative, then it's down here. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is, of course, we need to check whether the other end of the graph goes up or down. Okay, so if it goes up, then the... the um, the number of coefficient, the sum of, I mean, the sum of the exponents is even. I add, if it goes up, then if it goes down, then it must be even. Okay, so graphing this is, um, since the sum of the exponents is 2 plus 3, the answer is 5. Okay, therefore, it's odd. Therefore, pag odd, I told you before, then it's the opposite. So, this one goes down, then this must, sorry, this must go up. Okay, this must go up, okay? Now, going back to our um, graph itself, okay? So, as for the multiplicity, since this is 2, I told you before that if the graph will be 2, okay? If the graph will be 2, then it will bounce on that given point. So, it, since this is 2, or that is even, it will bounce. So, when it approaches this one, sorry, for let me just change that a little bit. When it approaches this 2, it will touch it and then it will bounce off. Then it will go up on a certain um, direction or a certain height and then go back to 3. Then as it goes to 3, then we have to check. Since the 3 is e is odd, so our graph will look like this. Okay, It will go horizontal like this. It will go here, go horizontal, touch it, intersect, and then go like this. And this would be the look of our graph. Okay? This would be the look of our graph for negative 3 x plus 2 squared times x minus 3 cubed. Okay, so this would just be a rough graph, okay, meaning um, the rough image of the graph. Okay, it's not precise, but it's the best um, image that you can do in such a short amount of time. Okay, so of course, uh, for you to be able to determine what, are, what is the height of this um, slope here the, or this. Um, curve here then you can just get more values in between 2 and negative 2 and positive 3 if you would want to be precise but then again this is the only requirement that i will be asking you okay so another example um say we have say we have y is equal to negative x 2x minus 3 then we have x minus 1 and we have x plus 2 <clears throat> okay, so the thing that we need to do first is, of course, to find the zeros. So let me just uh, create your partition plane. Then we get the zeros. So as uh, when we are getting the zeros, we just simply get all the values with the x's. So we have negative x equals to 0, giving us just simply x as your first 0. Then we have um, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, giving us your x as... Um, this is 3 over 2. So that is your next 0. The next 0 would be 
x is equals to negative 1. I mean, sorry, x minus 1 is equal to 0, giving you x equals to positive 1. And the last one is x plus 2 is equals to 0, giving you a 0 of negative 2. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to plot this following zeros in the x-axis. So we have 0 here. Let me just use the green marker. So this would be your first, just 0. And then we have positive 1 here. Positive 1. Then we have 3, 3 over 2, 3 halves. That is just simply in between. Okay, so this is your other 0. So this one. And that is 3 halves. That is in between 1 and 2. And then we have negative 2. 1, 2, negative 2. So your point of intersection for the x will be 4. Okay, we have negative 2, we have 0, we have 1, and then we have 3 over 2. Then, of course, we just simply have to observe the graph, okay? So, firstly, let's look at the leading coefficient, okay? In the leading coefficient, the uh, sign is negative. Therefore, your graph will go down. The end behavior will go down, okay? And as for the exponent, of course, this is 1, 1, 1, 1. Because uh, by default, it's always 1. And the sum of that is 4, okay? So having 4, that would be even, meaning your graph will be the same. If it is odd, it goes up here. But if it is even, then it goes down here. Asa baba, okay? So the next thing that we need to do is we need to start from the left, which is negative 2, and you have to check, to check negative 2. Since the exponent is 1, then it just simply passes. Sorry, fair one. It just simply passes through. Then since the exponent of x is equal to 0, it's just 1, so it just passes through. Then again, since the exponent of 1 is just simply 1, then it just passes through. So go, sorry, oh, okay. okay, we have to do that again. Okay, and then so goes for the given in the x is equals to 3 over 2. So let me just, let me delete this one. So it just goes down here, okay? And that would be the rough image of your graph okay it's not that hard it's just um uh there's just a lot of concept that you need to mind for specifically you need to um uh, know the multiplicity you need to know um the end behavior and then you need to know the zeros but as for that you see how fast we graph this given if we just know those three things okay if you just know those three things then of course then you will be okay okay so let me let's just have a rough review of our given so we have of course the first thing that you need to identify or topic pala would be the zeros okay you need to identify the zeros and the zeros after you have identified you just simply need to plot on the x-axis okay then the next thing that you need to do is of course to identify the end behavior and the end behavior can be identified by just simply checking the numerical coefficient outside of the given. So let's just have an example. If this is x plus 2 and x minus 1, then the number here is 1. Therefore, this the end behavior is positive, then it goes up. Another example. If this is um, negative 3x times x plus 2 and x plus 5 squared, this one is negative 3 or negative, then it goes down, okay? So it's just, it's that easy to check the end behavior. And then after you check the end behavior, you just simply have to check the exponent, okay? And then it, the exponent. If the exponent is even, then your graph will be um, same. It would be the same. So it op if the uh, other end behavior is going down, then the other goes down as well. If it goes up and positive, then it goes up as well. And as for if it is odd, then you just go with the opposite. Okay, so if your end behavior goes up, then the other must go down. Okay, and if it goes down, then the other must go up. Okay, so that would be for the end behavior. And lastly, the multiplicity. The multiplicity will just simply determine whether you go bouncing off or sliding through. Okay, so you slide through. So multiplicity, again, 
if it is again even x raised to even number okay your graph your intersection will the graph will bounce off so so your graph will look like this say this is the x-axis bounce okay this is bounce and then again if your x is has an exponent of an odd number then it will just simply slide through slide and then another slide okay so this is just simply slide through i'm not quite sure uh, regarding the terms but this is uh, what we will i am using so slide through okay so that would be for the odd okay so an example for that for example your x plus 2 is a cube okay that is odd therefore in the graph say this is your positive 2 okay so it will slide through okay uh, sorry this is this should be minus okay slide through okay because that is q okay so i do hope that you got this three concept that we need for us to be able to graph our given properly our given polynomial but then again let me just remind you this is just a rough image of the graph it's not precise but again it's a good way to graph it at a very short amount of time okay so thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh